Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Travis out here on the evening of Father's Day. I just got done preparing some lectures and I uh, wanted to take a break and have a cigar and do a review for you on the cigar. So, um, I guess it's a review. It's the first one I've smoked of this kind. So, um, I'm going to be smoking the Parodi Kings. So, we'll do a box opening here. This is also made by the Avanti company uh, that I mentioned in my previous video out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. So, uh, I can't remember the size on these. Maybe I'll, I'll look it up and try to put it in the bucket, but it looks like each one comes individually wrapped in its own uh, cardboard sleeve and plastic. So, let's see how long it takes me to get this undone. Unwrapped, and that's kind of nice because it keeps it a little bit more protected. Uh, I mean, these are dry cured cigars, so they're pretty hardy. Um, they don't uh, break up nearly as much as a premium cigar would be, and they can put up with a lot more. So here it is. Uh, it has that sta same kind of craggy look. If I threw it out in my yard and it, my yard had sticks in it, there's no way you could find it. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like—just a stick. So looks like it's about. Probably four and a half inches or so. So, get it lit up here with my Jeep lighter. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be easily over an hour long smoke just because, assuming it's of similar construction to the uh, Denobly. So, I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna toast it up. Sorry, there's a lot of neighbors out right now, all the background noise, and their dog's out, so it's getting my dogs interested. So. Okay, so right away. Uh, it's really not that uh, spicy or peppery yet. Um, it kind of just has a leathery taste to it. Uh, it's very firm. I mean, these are like, I mean, <laughs> literally, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between these and a stick. Uh, it's very hard. I, if I, of course, I could break it, but uh, again, these are so much more hardy feeling than a, a hand rolled, you know, regular, regular humidification cigar. So. Um, I'll let it warm up and get through the first inch or, or third thereabouts, and then I'll come back with a check-in and see how it's going. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, checking back in. Travis here. And uh, I'm about not quite halfway down, a um, little past an inch. And the ash, I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but... Um, this is kind of what the scar looks like as you're smoking it. Uh, ash is a little bit flowery, as to be expected. Uh, but And the burn sometimes gets a little wonky and uneven. Uh, but it always corrects itself, so I haven't had to do any touch-ups or relights or anything like that. So, um, burn quality and, I guess, construction, you'd say, is uh, pretty good. So, um, But the flavor is... The flavors are relatively um, one-dimensional. It's no big transitions or anything that you would expect um, in a, like I said, a premium cigar. It's mostly that leathery. Uh, it has started to get a little bit deeper in flavor, um, kind of that earthy or slight mustiness. Uh, this particular cigar, I don't know if it's with all these Brody Kings, uh, or not, but this particular cigar doesn't have near as much of that spicy pepper. It's just a little bit of pepper in the back of your throat, um, which is nice. It's not nearly as intense uh, as, for instance, that, uh, the Denobly uh, Longs. They're much more uh, spicy smoke. So, um, anyway, uh, I'll keep going, and I'll check back in with you uh, when I'm 
uh, nearing the end of the smoke. Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, just wanted to check in um, at very close to the end of the cigar now. Um, and not a whole lot of changes. The uh, uh, kind of the peppery um, feeling in your mouth and kind of towards the back of your mouth and into your throat has increased a little bit in this last um, uh, about third to half of the cigar, which is nice. It's uh, in a good way. Uh, not at all uncomfortable, just um, just kind of a nice little tingle. And uh, otherwise, the burn's been very consistent. It's always a little bit uneven. Um, there's uh, obviously some thick feeling um, pieces in the cigar, so that always takes a little bit longer for the burn to catch up. Uh, the ash is always a little bit f flowery, um, but when I set it down in my ashtray, it usually falls off somewhere between uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch. So it's that's been very consistent. Um, the taste has been good. The, the draw, and, and this has been my experience with most of these dry cured cigars, the draw is not effortless, um, but it is not so... Um, it's not so difficult that hey, it becomes so, a problem. So, uh, I just wanted to come in with my final thoughts. Uh, sorry, the camera ran out of battery in the middle, and I went on uh, for another uh, minute before I realized the light was off. So I was finishing up talking about the draw of the cigar, and it's, uh, <clears throat> like I said, it, it's a little more tight than probably most uh, premium hand-rolled cigars, but it's not an uncomfortable or a difficult draw. It's just noticeably a little bit tighter, a little more snug. But the smoke output is still very good, uh, so I wouldn't say there's any problems with that. I'm pretty sure that was uh, kind of wrapping up my thoughts on the cigar. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, love to hear any comments you have on the review or on uh, dry cured cigars in general. Your thoughts on them, if you've uh, smoked any of these. Um, but <clears throat> that's about it. Uh, that was the Parodies. Kings, uh, Parodi Kings, uh, dry cured cigar made by the Avanti company. Um, so I, I hope to do some more of those reviews in the upcoming weeks. So uh, look for more of those, and I'll see you guys next time.